over here. Now, last time I saw you, you ran 357. You were pretty happy about it. Yeah, I, but I've had some ups and downs since. Yeah, what's the story? Uh, right after that, I got a little greedy. I thought I was like 100% able to just do what I always did. I got after it for a few weeks and just like broke. And uh, I felt really good after the last race. Had like a good few weeks of training, got a stress reaction in my sacrum. Came back immediately, got a hip flexor strain and so I've been doing stuff for like three weeks right now, and it's just like the, the clock is counting down to USA's and yeah. nothing's gonna jumpstart your fitness more like getting out there. So that's what I what I've done. Yeah. So. Do you feel you seem like how do you feel about the performance tonight? It's honestly about what I expected. I mean, like my my training log is comical the last few weeks, but it's just uh, you you have to do it eventually and. Yeah. Um, I just I obviously think about Gabe a lot this week and when we're trying to make the decision whether or not to race you kind of just got to think about all the times that she stepped on the line with every excuse possible and that she just got out there and raced mm -hmm. and so I channeled that energy today and just wanted to get out there compete start somewhere yeah. and I know in two weeks we're gonna be a completely different runner because of today yes and uh, yeah so I know the last couple of years you've sort of had some injury issues. I mean, do you consider yourself injury prone at this point? Or? I'm starting to accept it. I think that there's like a couple biomechanical issues that I had and that's what caused things. But I'm definitely revamping my training a little bit right now. Uh, a lot of biking. I cross train every day. I'm in the pool or on the elliptical or on the bike every day now. And just gonna use that to make up some of the mileage that I'm two, maybe going to be missing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is it tough? Obviously, like, Johnny's been running really well this year. Yeah. Is it sort of tough to see that's maybe what could be? Yeah, I mean, you know? I couldn't be happier for Johnny's yeah, my yeah, best yeah. friend. Yeah. And <laughs> to see him running so well, right. I'm so happy for him. And of course, though, I, at the same time, I'm thinking, like, man, I know not to, like, you know, diminish his accomplishments, but if he's capable of that, I know that I am as well because we just train together and compete alongside each other so many times. And so it's, it's inspiring, really. Yeah. Knowing something that we've always said that we were capable of doing, and Johnny's doing it, and I plan on being there really soon next. So, yeah. so any, any more races coming up? Yeah, we're going to race at Princeton in two weeks, and that'll be, I, I truly think, will be a completely different version of myself. Um, just because, you know, six, now I've got this effort and it's a little bit more than just doing strides. So, yeah. yeah. The, but you said but there was like biomechanical issue. Like, yeah. is there one specific one? Or? Um, basically, like my pelvic floor was really weak and that led. So, obviously, your sacrum and your hip flexors and adductors are all connected. And if that's not strong enough to hold everything together, it just causes issues on both sides and so it's just kind of going back and forth where a hip flexor hurts then a sacrum breaks or the adductors are weak and then the iliac breaks or something it was just a seesaw and so um i think once i just raced indoors i did such a good job building back up really slowly being patient and i think i just got impatient or i got too excited at one point thought i could do more than i could and I'm learning where my limits are. You think even at this point in my career, I would know, but you're still learning. All right. Well, appreciate it. Yeah, but it's going to be back out here. Yeah. Good to see you out there.